Hey, my name is Ismael Martinez. Uh, I am one of the leads for Midsummer Night Dream. And my characters are actually, I have two of them. It's awesome for me. I'm doing uh, Theseus and I'm doing Oberon. So I'm actually gonna have a lot of fun doing uh, both kings, I guess. Uh, it's, no, it's really good, I'm enjoying this. So with Theseus, it's, um, it's a bit of a challenge to try to capture the kind of man who I think Theseus is, the kind of ruler that he is. Kind of arrogant a little bit. Um, so it's kind of hard to just try to play off like I'm this powerful ruler who is actively being humble. He's, he's a very down to earth man, at least he thinks he is. And really he's just, he's, he's somebody you want to spend just like maybe a minute and a half with and then like go to the next room kind of thing. And my other character that I have is Oberon, King of the Fairies. He's actually more fun to play than Theseus, if I have to be honest. Um, Oberon, hmm. Funny enough, he's kind of the person who I think Theseus thinks of himself as. Oberon really is a lot more powerful. He has genuine power over the world, over humanity, as opposed to a mortal man like Theseus, who's only going to be alive for a short while. Oberon is truly who Theseus thinks he is, and he's just a wonderful character to, to act out. He's a lot more reserved and calm as a character. He knows who he is, he knows what he's capable of, he, know, he knows what he can do. So with that in mind, he goes about life in a, in a much more calm demeanor. Even though he is at heart quite evil, he can do some evilish things in the play. It's, it's comical, but it's, it's a little evil. So in this play, we have a lot of moments that are hysterical, wonderful, amazing. Um, it's kind of hard to go and narrow down which one is my absolute favorite, but I might have to go with the part in which my character Oberon goes and enchants his wife with a little love potion. And when she wakes up, she falls in love with a, with a certain character. And it ends up being one of the best moments in the show, my, in my personal opinion. The, the whole relationship between that character and her, it is beautifully written. It is just a wonderful thing to see on stage. And it's probably my favorite part of the show. If you're still on the fence about coming to see the show, I wonder if you've ever thought what it would be like to experience a dream while still being awake. Because that's what this show is. Just one big dream that we're all experiencing at the same time as a collective. And it is something I would highly suggest you come experience for yourself. Shakespeare is a, a beautiful thing to experience, most especially when it's being performed in front of you. It's wonderful. Everybody's doing an amazing job so far. They're all putting in so much work into making this just a wonderful show. You should definitely come and watch. And with all that being said, go ahead and get your tickets. We're running the show from August 10th to the 18th. And I know that I will see you here for a wonderful experience. Thank you.